Hello, everybody. I am back with Brian from Anarchy hey Models. Guys. And uh, today we're having another look at one of his high speed stencils yeah. you currently have on Kickstarter. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So uh, this time we're looking at your creature feature sort of sub range. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we, we started off, first of all, with our mottled stencil, which was just mega popular in it. Mm. Yeah, everyone's like, do more creature ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's by far our most popular one. Mm. So we did some more of those last time. Yeah. Um, but people still want more of the creature feature designs. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to, that's what we're doing right now. All right. Now you have a, a little sheet there showing off yeah. some of them. So already, yeah? on here, so in the middle here we have our our HS model, the original, mm -hmm. um, and then around that we have some of the new ones. So in this video we're going to be looking at the new blotchy sensor, which is this one. So this mm -hmm. is the micro blotchy one, which is, so have the dots are kind of a similar size as this, mm -hmm. and then this is the uh, normal size blotchy one, which is uh, for larger creatures mm -hmm. um, and then also on this sheet is uh, one we're going to do later in a different video we have the bigger mottled mm -hmm. down here and yep. the less mottled which is here so these are the same size dots there's just less of them mm -hmm. so sometimes you might not want quite as many and it's just going to give you a different effect yeah so you, c you can change the patterning yeah and you could also even do them in layers combinations so you could use this yep. one and then this mm -hmm. one on top of the lines of color yeah um, and get an even more yeah. varied effect yeah all right so uh you've got three dinos here so yeah what um, are these these are from an Ar an Arl, world of twilight mm -hmm. um very cool little game uh, i don't know the name of these dinos <laughs> unfortunately i have forgotten we just call them dinos they, uh, they are very cool mm -hmm. um you can see that actually well it's actually been painted you can see it a bit better um so that's mm -hmm. in there anyway so I started off with, uh, this is my base coat, mm -hmm. um, so this was actually an old Ogre Flesh spray can I had from years ago. Oh wow. Um, but uh, it's, it was just to give it a, a, a greeny brown base, mm -hmm. um, so you could just prime it that colour with any any colour primer that's suitable. Yeah, yeah. Um, onto there, we have then used various colours, I started off with a, uh, underneath, I lightened it up with uh, like a sort of a sandy colour, mm -hmm. so which was actually similar to dead flesh so that sort of color and pale green mm -hmm. um, so I've used those to line up for underneath picking out some of the raised areas um, along the back as well mm -hmm. and then I've used uh, this color here which is UK Mediterranean blue mm -hmm. uh, but you know it, it's just I just thought it was a cool color you can use whatever any colors you want I mm -hmm. just thought it'd look cool being blue dinos rather than or being green yeah um, well, I mean, so, like, no one actually knows what colour dinosaurs were. Well, exactly. So I thought, you know what? Everyone always does them green. I'm mm -hmm. going to do them a pale blue, and I think it looks quite cool. Yeah, that, that looks really, um, really nice. So that was uh, most of these colours in combination, um, and then I've used some shading into the shadows here. You can see mm -hmm. uh, that was done with the black-green ink uh, mm -hmm. with a little bit of the black ink added just to shade in some of the areas under the chin here. Yeah, I'm, I'm really seeing your love for the Vallejo range here. Yeah, I think they're really good. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I can't fault them. They just need to make more of the inks. Nice, nice bright colours <laughs> of the inks. <laughs> All right, so what's what sort of effect do you imagine this dinosaur would have? Because this is a perfect one to be subjective with for the different models well, we're going to yeah, use. Well, yeah, you can, you can do it wherever you like. Um, again, we're going to let the model dictate where we try and put it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be difficult to put it under his whole belly. Yeah. Um, so we're not going to do that. Um, mm -hmm. Areas you can do it quite nicely along the, along the chest here, mm -hmm. along the thighs and the legs, along this back line here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, anywhere where you can get the stencil nicely mm -hmm. uh, is a suitable place to do it. So if, if you can't put it under the belly, you just don't try and put it there. You don't have to yeah. coat the whole model. This is to give just some interest to certain areas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's to, to break up the, the tones and the colours. Yeah, that's right. Right, well, uh, what have you got that you're thinking of using for this one? Then? Uh, I'm thinking of using the uh, blotchy one, because mm -hmm. I think they look quite cool. So on here, so this is uh, HS42 on the Kickstarter, on yep. the new ones. You can see there's two different sizes there, and you get that as one set. Mm -hmm. um, but that's a little bit too big for what we're going to do on this guy. Um, okay. I think we're going to use this one, which is the micro blotchy, ah, okay. uh, HS45. So as we can see, much, much tighter um, pattern there. Mm -hmm. It's the same style, but it's a different size. Yeah. So I think that's more suited to this size of uh, dino. Yeah, although seeing these, you know what I'm tempted to try at some point? Is to grab like a 15 mil tank with that sheet. And try and do like the the German three tone, just through an airbrush. 
and just pick out a few stripes with that could look uh, very interesting. If it's flat enough, yeah. Um, the, the, the HD stencils, the sticky ones, are more suited to covering a whole vehicle. Ah, I see. Um, whereas with these, you're not going to be able to wrap it in every nook and cranny. Gotcha. Uh, if they've got like side skirts on the German tanks, you can mm. do it quite happily on there. Yeah. But you're not going to wrap it in and around every nook and cranny, whereas yeah. the sticky ones will do that. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, well, if this is the one you're wanting to use. Yeah, uh, so we're going to go on this guy here. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it different on each side, I think. Um, so I'm going to first of all do it along the back edge here, mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm going to pick out some of the other areas on the other side. Okay, so, cool. Let's see how it turns out then. Yeah. So what, what colour so, do you think you should use at this point to do the actual uh, blotches? Whichever colour you want to do. Um, I mean, you can do it quite subtly. As an example here, I've done it on this guy. Mm-hmm. Um, this is the the mottled, um, which you can ju probably just about make out. Mm -hmm. um, the the green, the brown uh, are actually very similar tonally, so you can't really make it out as obviously mm. as on some of our other examples. So you can, it, but it still looks very cool when you look at it close up. Mm -hmm. So you can do it quite subtly like this, or you can do it a bit stronger like this, which was done with black. Mm, down, that jumps out down out, the yeah. back there, so it's a bit more obvious. I'm going to do it kind of in between, so I've got a mixture of black and brown ink in there. Okay. Um, I like to use the inks because it gives a bit more of a gentle fade, so it mm. looks more organic. Yeah. If you use actual paints, um, if you're not careful, it can look like it's things stuck on the outside. Yeah. Um, if that, if you do do that and it looks like that, what you can do is just shoot the skin tone back over the top very uh, lightly, and that will knock it back a bit. Yeah, that'll just break those hard line edges. Yeah. And then, so, but we're going to try not to need to do that today. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let's go. I'm going to yeah, pick one you've already pick used. Pick one I've already painted. So we want to make sure we sp keep this as tight to the model as you can and try and only spray it where it's actually touching the model. Mm -hmm. So with, for this side, I'm going to run it down the back of his neck. Can be tricky to hold it in just the right spot. Mm hmm And as always, thin light coats, build the colour up to where you want it to be. Not try to do it in one heavy coat. Mm -hmm. So we can see on his neck there. Oh yeah, those jump right out at you. He's got all the spots there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to continue that down. It doesn't really matter if they overlap a little bit. Um, and one, one thing I will say is that before I've done this, I've varnished this guy. So I've done all the painting and then I've varnished him. If you don't, with all these little shapes, you could scrape the paint. Ah, I see. Um, so he's been given a good coat of varnish and then let to dry before we've done this. Mm -hmm. We're just going to continue that down the back. Mm -hmm. Maybe turn the stents around so you're not using the same part all the time. Mm -hmm. I think it needs under here a little bit more. Yeah, that looks really, really go. good. Very, very fast. It looks like it's been ages feathering all those in. Mm -hmm. But it's already very quick. Um, I think I'm going to do a bit on his thighs here. I'm going to actually do a light colour the other side just to see what the difference is. Yeah, that could look cool. See, I like doing it with these kind of fantasy creatures because you're kind of having to imagine where that mottling would be. Yeah. Um, I think it's just quite quite interesting to sort of have a little think in your head where it might be and what looks nice, what doesn't. Mm -hmm. uh, again, it's always good to do some tests. There we go. Mm -hmm. So I think on the other side, I might do it a lighter colour and see how yeah, that, that would affect it. So yeah. this is going to look totally different. It's going to be the same stencil, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, but it's going to be a totally different effect um, mm -hmm. using a brighter colour. Um, so I'm just going to do it in the same places, I think. So some of the time here I'm not using the paint, I'm not 
carrying it in for too long. Some of the time this is just air to dry it because I can mm. tell it's a little bit wet. So you've got mm. like a interesting bit more subtle, not quite as obvious as that side. Mm -hmm. um, but then you know maybe that's what you want. Well, I mean, like with with you having done that, would it be possible then with the lighter color to then come in with a, another color as a bit of a highlight? So you know the way we've toned some of the whites and things with that being like a nice peel color. Could we tone it in with another one? Um, not sure what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, you remember the way whenever we did this particular one? Yeah. So we did our white, and then we had a colored ink that went over the top of it. Oh yeah, yeah, we could we could do that. Um, let me just do a bit more, and then we could play around yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we're, if we're doing this with white, it'd be even more stark and might mm -hmm. actually work better. Um, but it still looks quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. It's a bit more subtle, but maybe more organic mm -hmm. because it's more subtle. Yeah. Um, you know. Different ways of doing it. Yeah, possibly. Again, it's it's all down to the the individual at the end of it. Then. Yeah, there's also nothing to stop you using them in combination. Mm -hmm. So we could even go over the top of the the dark blotch on that side with the mottle, but with the lighter paint and see what happens there. Yeah, that could be fun. Sometimes you can just layer them up. That works good. If the camera can see it, that does actually look really good. <laughs> there you go. So another different pattern again going on there. Yeah. Kind of layering up. And could we do the opposite on the other side, going down to the darker from the lighter with the smaller yeah. pattern? Let's give that a go. Yeah. Always different combinations. Mm-hmm. And you can see that looking more. across the back, you can see the difference there. That's very interesting. There you go, it's a bit more obvious now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so you can get the layering going on. Looks pretty interesting. Yeah, but I mean, like going light to dark and dark to light, if you just look across the spine there, you can see there is a, a difference between the two. Yeah. Which is yeah, very cool is. to see. Yeah. Hmm. You know what? I want to do this on something bigger. <laughs> Can that be another video? That could be another video. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'll tell you what, uh, if you like your uh, creature feature stencils, make sure and jump across to the Kickstarter. If you have ideas for different creature feature ones, drop them in the comments below. Uh, myself and Brian will move on here, and we will see you again very soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe, and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.